This is a battlefield that we must stand upon. And we need to let President Obama, Harry Reid, Nancy Pelosi, and my dear friend, the chairman of the Democrat National Committee, we need to let them know that Florida ain't on the table. Take your message of equality of achievement, take your message of economic dependency, take your message of enslaving the entrepreneurial will and spirit of the American people somewhere else. You can take it to Europe, you can take it to the bottom of the sea, you can take it to the North Pole, but get the hell out of the United States of America. Yeah, I said hell. Und was wir tun, wir werden vergehen, aber in euch wird Deutschland weiterleben. Und wenn von uns nichts mehr übrig sein wird, dann werden wir die Fahne, die wir einst aus dem Nichts hochgezogen haben, in euren Fäusten halten müssen. Good afternoon, Martin. What is provoking this kind of behavior? Because we've had the spectacle of a discourteous governor from Arizona waving her fingers in the face of the president. Now we have a congressman suggesting that a president who won a majority at the last election should get out of this country. Well, uh, I mean, you know human nature. It's a weakness of character. One of the things that many of our viewers find particularly interesting in Republican circles is how they refer to Governor Sarah Palin, who couldn't complete a term in office. Speaker Gingrich, who was forced to resign from office and find $300,000. And yet they find it impossible to refer to him as the president, as President Obama. Why is this? You know, they're insecure. Uh, they're, uh, they're insecure? Oh, that's what it's all about. You know that, Martin. It's, uh, it's about an inherent insecurity when people are full of bluster, uh, when they act like bullies. It's because, uh, you know, there's a weakness of, of character, unfortunately. And I, I think they resent President Obama because he has a self-confidence. He knows his inner core is in the right place.